What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of a boot loop on your iPhone, iPod or iPad. Now there's a couple of different ways of going about this. I've, I've covered it in the past before, but I've never done a completely in-depth every single option. You guys are going to have video, so that's why I wanted to do it for you here on iOS 13. Now, before we get into anything, I do want to mention that if you do not have any backups of your your device, you could potentially lose everything and have to start from scratch. Basically, like you just got your, your iOS device fresh out of the box from the Apple Store, starting from nothing, if you don't have a backup. So, backing up your device is incredibly important. Um, the way you back it up, you can use iCloud. This is the way I like to do it. Just go into iCloud here and then scroll down until you see iCloud Backup. And you wanna make sure that this is on. Once you enable it, you just forget about it and you'll never have to worry about manually backing up or anything. Pretty much the way it'll back up your device is if you leave your iOS device on a charger in the middle of the night, charging overnight, which I'm sure most of you do, it will automatically back up your device at that point. As you can see, uh, mine was actually backed up last night at one in the morning. So I don't even have to think about it. Once you have that enabled, it just does it all on its own. And like I said, if you don't have any backups, you could potentially lose everything on your device using some of these methods. Uh, so I'm gonna basically cover every option you have at this point for your device being in a boot loop. The first and the most simple method is to simply do a hard reboot on the device. Now this is gonna vary device to device. The button combo that I'm gonna do on the 10s max is different than the iphone 7 or the iphone 8 and it's even different than the iphone 6 or the iphone 5 so it really depends on what device you have and how you do a hard reboot so be sure to look it up on google and see what buttons you need to press to do this uh, but i'll quickly demo it on my 10s max now unfortunately i can't simulate a boot loop right now i have had it stuck in a boot loop in the past and i made a video on that I'll leave the video link for that one in the description if you guys want to see it in action. Uh, but, like I said, we're just going to do a hard reboot, and it's the most simple first step you can do to getting out of the boot loop. So, on the 10s Max, it's volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button and keep holding it until it powers off, and then you see the Apple logo again. That is a hard reboot. It's not the same as slide to power off and then turning it back on. It is different. So, like I said, volume up volume down, hold the side button, and just keep holding it. And eventually you will see the screen go black and continue to hold it. So this is gonna be the same, depending on what device you have, just keep holding your last button press here until you see that Apple logo. And there you go, I just performed a hard reboot on the 10s Max. Now sometimes this can get you out of the boot loop uh, and it's truly a lifesaver if that does work because you don't have to worry about restoring your firmware or anything like that, connecting it to iTunes. Uh, it's the most simple method and it's basically the first thing I'd recommend you guys to try. As you can see there, my 10s Max is done rebooting and that's how you perform a hard reboot. So if that didn't work for you, the next option you got is putting your device into recovery mode. Pretty much this is gonna allow it to talk to a computer or rather iTunes on a computer uh, and let you basically restore your firmware. Um, like I said, if you don't have any backups or anything like that, you, you could potentially lose everything at this point, so only do this if absolutely necessary. Uh, so to do a recovery mode, again, it's gonna be device specific. The button combos are different. Uh, from device to device, the way I put this iPhone into recovery mode is different than the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, iPhone 6, iPhone 5, etc. They're, they're pretty much all different, so make sure you look up online on how to put your device into recovery mode, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, we are now ready to enter into recovery mode with our device. As you can see, I did switch things around a little bit. I switched to this dock here. The reason being is because it is connected to my Mac. So the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is go ahead and connect your device to your Mac or your Windows computer. Uh, and make sure you have iTunes on that computer because we will be using iTunes to restore the device at this point. Now, keep in mind, restoring will erase everything. Without a backup, you will lose everything. But if it's the only option you got, like I said, it's better than having 
uh, an iPhone that just keeps booting over and over and over again uh, than to just lose everything and start from scratch. So uh, make sure your, your device is connected to your computer. And again, this button combo is specific for each device. So the 10s Max is different than the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7, iPhone 6, and iPhone 5. They're all different. Look it up online to see the button combo. Uh, like I said, I'm going to show you on the 10s Max. And it's really simple. It's just like doing a hard reboot, except for it is connected to the computer, and that will trigger it to go into recovery mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Again, it's just volume up, volume down, and then you hold that side button and keep holding it just like you do when you do a hard reboot until you see the Apple logo and you continue to hold it until you see your device go into recovery mode. And it does take a few seconds, so just keep holding on to that side button here. And there you go. As you can see, the 10s Max is now into recovery mode. And you will notice on your computer, you're going to get a pop-up at this point. Uh, and it, it says there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. And from here, you can go on uh, iTunes and restore the device. Now, sometimes even doing this method will give you some errors within iTunes. Make sure that iTunes is fully up to date. So if you're having issues, check your version of iTunes, make sure it's the fully up-to-date version. And if it is and it's still having issues, then you're probably going to have to do the last method of this video, and that is to put it into DFU mode, uh, which is a little bit harder than recovery mode. Also, once you're in recovery mode here, um, you can actually exit out of this. It's really quite simple. You just do a hard reboot, and you will be able to exit out of recovery mode. So I'm just going to do that now. Volume up, volume down hold the side button there and we're just going to do a hard reboot and as soon as I see the Apple logo I'll release the side button and my device will just boot up. So you could also try this as well trying to put your device into recovery mode and then taking it out and seeing if that fixes it as well that could be another trick. So there's the Apple logo. I'm just going to go ahead and let off the side button and it, uh, it should boot up here no problem. So that's basically how you enter into recovery mode so that it can talk to the computer, it'll allow you to restore the firmware, or you can exit out of it and go back to your normal iOS version. So there you go, we are booted back up. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys how to enter into DFU mode, the hardest of the three, uh, but this should work if the other two methods don't. Alrighty guys, we are ready to put the 10s Max into DFU mode. And it's basically the same setup as recovery mode. As you can see, my iPhone is still connected through the dock, through the cable to my Mac. Um, so make sure it is connected to your computer. Make sure you do have iTunes on that computer. Uh, and you will be prompted when you go into DFU mode, just like you were in recovery mode by iTunes. It will automatically pop up, letting you know that a device was detected in DFU mode. Now, this is definitely the hardest of the other methods to do. You have to do a certain button combo a certain amount of time and it is rather tricky. Um, of course if you don't get it first try you can go ahead and try it again uh, and pretty much what you're going to do at least for the 10s Max is volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button until it powers off. As soon as the screen goes black release the side button and then quickly press and hold side button and volume down together and continue, continue to hold those two buttons for five seconds, then release the side button, but continue to hold the volume down button for at least five seconds or until it goes into DFU mode. Like I said, this part is rather tricky and it is gonna be device specific. The button combos are different depending on what device you have. So be sure to look it up online on how to enter into DFU mode for your iPhone or iPad specifically, it will be different. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put this iPhone XS Max into DFU mode. Like I said, this is rather tricky and it might take me a couple attempts. Uh, so we, here we go. Volume up, volume down, side button. Keep holding it until the screen goes black. As soon as it goes black, release and then hold volume down and side button together for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Continue holding the volume down button now for at least five seconds. And uh, my computer should recognize it. As you can see, it automatically popped up 
on my Mac. So we did get it the first try here. It says, your Mac has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used. Uh, so like I said, this is the very last option you guys are going to have if you're stuck in a boot loop is to just completely restore the iOS firmware on it and it will allow you to use it again. And again, like I said, if you do not have a backup of your um, iPhone or iPad, you will lose everything. It'll be like you just took it out of the box from Apple. Uh, and also, if you guys want to get out of DFU mode, you can do that. I'm just going to click on OK on iTunes. And then right here, there is a button to just restore this iPhone. So that is pretty much your last option on how to get out of a boot loop. And uh, to get out of DFU mode, it's just like recovery mode, volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button here until it boots back up. And that will take us out of DFU mode. We should see the Apple logo appear on my iPhone here in a second. So there we go. I have uh, exited out of DFU mode. My 10s Max is now booting back up and it will be usable. So there you go guys, those are the three different tricks you can try to get your device out of a boot loop. Of course, like I said, I would do the hard reboot first. If that doesn't work, try recovery mode. And of course, if recovery mode doesn't work, do DFU mode. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot here at the channel. And for those of you that always ask me where you can get my wallpapers, they are available on my Telegram. I will leave the link for that in the description. Just go ahead and follow me on Telegram, and that's where I post all of the wallpapers I use in my videos. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.